$20,000 you didn't know was coming to you. What would you do with it? Well, our experts have some ideas. It is time for Secret Stash. I'm playing the role of a millennial. Student debt, no mortgage, no dependents. Michael Lee is with me. He is a managing partner at Tiger Wealth Management. Joining us from California with his ideas, Jason Rotman, president of Lido Isle Investors. Jason, first and foremost, what should said millennial, in this case me, if I'm going to pretend, do with the money? No mortgage and no dependents. Wow, right. that's, uh, that's quite an opportunity uh, to, to do pretty much whatever you want here. So I think given that if you're a millennial and you come upon $20,000, Deirdre, I think you, you don't necessarily focus on paying bills and paying debt. Obviously, if you have super high interest debt, you probably want to pay some of that down. But the bottom line is you need to go with a visionary investing approach. And I, and I call visionary investing basically seeking out opportunities that not only can provide a tremendous amount of return long term, but something that lights you up inside, something that you're passionate about. So for example, I think Tesla is like the perfect example of a visionary investment for a millennial. Does Tesla have a low PE? No, but Tesla is part of a future that this massive, massive trend change that we're seeing. So Tesla's number one as, as kind of a theoretical example, but also practical. Another example is a company called Next Era Energy, which actually is a more conservative future-oriented uh, solar wind energy play, which pays a 3% dividend. So I think that's thesis number one is the visionary investing approach. Number two, briefly, is that I think an amazing idea if you're a millennial is you come upon 20 grand, you take 20, 30, 50% of it, you get together with trusted friends and partners who, who are smart like you and have the same values, and you start your own company. That's a huge piece Jason, of advice. Jason, you sound the wildly optimistic to me. I can't think of sometimes reaching consensus on restaurants. I'm going to bring in Michael Lee. What do you think? Do you split the money, as Jason is saying, put some in investing, put some in your mattress? What do you do with it? Well, I, I think you need a little bit in the mattress just in case you hate your first job like most people, right? Uh, but moving on from there. Um, but 10K, let's say you split it, 10K is not going to cover your expenses for a long time. Well, you need to have a little bit of a rainy day fund. But moving on from there, definitely the stock market, right? And whether you're a millennial just out of college with a little nest egg or your hedge fund manager, you need to focus on the 800-pound gorilla in the room, which is the Fed. Um, what I think is going to work for uh, people putting money to work in the equity markets right now are the money center banks. It's not visionary. It's not exciting. But when interest rates go up, not if, when interest rates go up, that's going to flow to the bottom line very, very quickly. A lot of these big banks have done everything they can to trim down their operations. They're very smooth running machines at this point. And when interest rates go up, that's not going to flow to the depositor, but it's going to flow to the, to the borrowers. So that's going to go right to the bottom line very, very quickly. Um, and then moving on from there, when rates go up, the economy is going to benefit. So um, consumer discretionary is what we're looking at in Disney. Um, Disney is. But again, what do you mean by that? Because a lot of people think when rates go up, every single type of debt that they have goes up. And I know what you're saying, that the millennial doesn't have debt, but it tends to, let's just say, rain on everyone's parade. You, you know what? That's, that's a great point. But from an investor standpoint, the only reason the Fed is going to raise rates is because the economy is doing so well, they have no other choice. They've kept it down for long enough that it, it, it's a matter of when, not if. So when that happens, it's going to be because the economy is doing so well. And then I, I'd like to go with the let it go phenomenon and recommend Disney. Um, you know, obviously, you know, you should get you some saw advice. Frozen two times, didn't you? 200. But <laughs> once uh, just to learn the songs. I want to let Jason jump in because, Jason, yeah. what is your take on rates Thank and you. how important <laughs> that is for a millennial who has just come upon $20,000? Well, first of all, I would I would let the Disney idea go, but that's just my opinion. I mean, as far as as far as rates, again, if if this specific conversation, which is such an awesome topic, I love it. Interest rates, really, I will make a bold statement: should not matter with what you do with your twenty thousand. If you're a millennial and you're kind of a, a big picture thinker looking for return and growth, you have to look at people like Elon Musk, Bill Gates, Steve Jobs. Uh, you know, uh, all Jason, these. Jason, you know, quick question Peter here: Thiel. Are you making you have to money your decisions own business. with your your heart, though. It sounds like you're going for visionaries. Nothing wrong with them. They're great. It's good for society. Are they the right people to invest besides if you're just a little guy? 
Absolutely. I think you have to take a chance and start your own business doing something you love that serves a great demand in the world. And you know what? You may fail, but we're not talking millions of dollars here. You're setting yourself up for a potential big future, doing something you love, making big returns, just like the aforementioned people. I think starting your own business is a key strategy for any smart millennial these days. All right. But the, that said, that is the minority that actually succeeds. But I like the spirit. Jason joining me there. <laughs> Jason Rotman, Lido Isle Investors and Michael Lee, Tiger Wealth Management. Thank you both for your ideas.